Ever since the golden era of the late 1800s, the lush rolling hills of KwaZulu-Natal were adorned with endless fields of sugarcane. These bittersweet plantations became the heartbeat of South Africa's sugar industry, drawing thousands of indentured labourers from the distant shores of South India. Under the relentless sun, they toiled and persevered, carving out a new life in this foreign land. While labouring on the plantations in the Mount Edgecombe area, a female devotee stumbled upon a puttu, a sacred anthill believed to be a manifestation of the divine. Mother Maria Min, the revered goddess of rain, fertility and healing, is deeply venerated for her protective and nurturing nature. Though it seemed as if her worship was left behind in her homeland, she reminded her devotees of her omnipresence, especially in their most challenging times. Amidst the sea of sugarcane, a sanctuary was born, a humble shrine to Goddess Mariamun. Nestled in the greenery, the sanctuary soon evolved into the revered Mount Edgecombe Mariamun Temple. It stood as a beacon of hope, a place where weary hearts found solace and with love and dedication from around the year 1890. Devotees built the temple piece by piece, each contributing their part. Today, about 134 years later and among the day-to-day -day worship, the temple is most renowned for its Good Friday pilgrimage. The air is filled with soothing scent of incense and the melodies of devotional music, creating a serene and sacred atmosphere in this beautiful sanctuary. Organization is key as families gather in a respectful queue, guided through each step of their worship. They begin by seeking permission from Lord Ganesha, the gatekeeper, who is always the first to be worshipped in Hinduism. Only then do they proceed to meet the Divine Mother. Saraswati Mangalum, Jai Lakshmi Mangalum, Durga Mangalum, Mande Kungu Mangalum, Mariam Ma, Mariam Ma, Mande Kungu Mangalum, Mariam Ma, Ganesha Mangalum, Ganesha Mangalum, Ganesha Mangalum, Mande Kungu Mangalum, Mariam Ma, Mariam Ma, Mande Kungu Ganesha Mangalum, Murgan Mangalum, Aipan Mangalum, Manda Jaya Mangalum, Mariam Ma, Mariam Ma, Mantis Gum Gover, Mariam Ma.
Lord Shiva sits majestically near the entrance, his serene gaze overlooking the devotees in quiet admiration. Devotees communicate their deepest prayers to Lord Shiva through his sacred mount, Nandi. As a divine intermediary, Nandi, the revered bull, faces the sanctum and is believed to convey whispered wishes directly to Lord Shiva. This sacred act symbolizes a profound and respectful connection between the worshipper and the divine. The sculpted backdrop of Mount Kailash with the ever-flowing river Ganga adds to the divine atmosphere. Typically depicted with closed eyes, Shiva embodies deep meditation and transcendence. When his eyes are open, it signifies moments of profound awareness and divine protection. These open eyes also manifest his boundless energy, enlightenment and grace guiding and safeguarding his devotees. His sacred gaze wards off evil and negative forces, ensuring the safety and well-being of all who seek his blessings. As devotees proceed to the main temple, covered in brilliant gold and breathtaking architecture, cannot be ignored. Iconic Indian designs and intricate details captivate the eye. The towering Gopuram, adorned with deities, appears to draw energy from the heavens. Deities grace each pillar observing and protecting Mother Mariamman. The entrance is spacious and inviting, imbued with a beautiful feeling of tranquility. This day has become a special day of worship for many generations who have passed through these early temples. One might wonder how this particular day became so significant on the Hindu calendar. It is believed that during the early days of the indentured laborers, there was only one day in the year when all families could come together. This was their day of togetherness. Due to the sugar mill being closed for the worship of Lord Jesus, known as the Easter weekend, Indian families seized this opportunity to gather at temples and offer thanks to Mother Mariamman. The abundance of devotees gathering together on this common day fostered unity, allowing families to share stories, joy and pain, and build their strength collectively. 
It became a day when everyone shared what they could offer to Goddess Mariamun, creating a powerful sense of community and togetherness. Due to the number of people that visit this temple from far and wide, it has become a weekend of worship which it could not accommodate in one day. Before meeting Mother Mariamun, devotees respectfully acknowledge the presence of Lord Mother Eviran, the revered protector of the community. Known for his strength and bravery, Lord Mother Eviran safeguards the devotees, ensuring their well-being. A spirit of protection and courage resonates through the temple, offering a sense of security and reverence to all who enter. Angari wongari adagiral, amma teriyeri tiri suli bodagiral. Barale angale ishvariye, amma alangar teri rumangaliye. Adikat visudama, adam barma per nag durgama. And finally, the little Putu discovered 134 years ago on this very spot has grown to an awe-inspiring height of 4 meters and continues to grow each year by a few centimeters. Always adorned with a sari, Mother's presence is profoundly felt. Her elegance and grandeur, towering over her devotees, proclaim her dominion with a serene yet powerful assurance. Mother Mariamun, revered as a divine protector and healer, envelops her devotees in her compassionate embrace. She is a beacon of hope and strength, tirelessly watching over her followers with unwavering vigilance. Known for her ability to shield from ailments, ward off misfortune and protect against calamities, her divine presence offers a sanctuary of safety and peace. Within her sacred sanctuary, devotees find solace and reassurance knowing that Mother Mariamun's benevolent spirit guides and guards them through life's adversities, bestowing blessings and fortitude with every prayer whispered in her name. Angali wodi vandal, 
day unfolds, the queues naturally grow longer at each point of worship. Prayer is a journey of transformation, and each devotee is encouraged to offer their prayers with mindfulness and without haste. The temple assistants value their presence, fostering a deep connection with the Divine. Offering prayers on this sacred day is just one aspect of the spiritual experience. The act of waiting in line teaches patience, tolerance and consideration. Through these moments of challenge, we grow stronger and more resilient, transforming our character. This newfound strength helps us navigate daily obstacles with greater ease and grace. In Hinduism, praying to the nine planets, known as the Navagras, holds significant importance. Devotees offer prayers to these planetary deities to seek their blessings. Worshipping the Navagras is believed to bring harmony, prosperity and overall well-being. It helps balance the cosmic energies and aligns one's life with positive planetary influences. Rituals often involve chanting specific mantras, offering flowers and lighting lamps, creating a spiritual connection with the celestial bodies. The people tree, revered as Bodhi tree, is where Lord Buddha attained profound enlightenment. The sacred tree is also intimately connected with Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva. It is believed that Lord Vishnu dwells in the roots, Lord Brahma in the trunk and Lord Shiva in the leaves, embodying the divine trinity of Hinduism. Devotees gather around the peepal tree, performing rituals with deep reverence. They walk around the tree in a meditative circumambulation, chanting sacred mantras. It is believed that worshipping the peepal tree bestows prosperity, health and spiritual growth, weaving tranquility and divine grace into the fabric of one's life. As we conclude this journey through sacred realms, let us carry with us the profound sense of connection and devotion witnessed here. The timeless traditions, the unwavering faith and the sacred rituals bind us to something greater than ourselves. In the embrace of these divine practices, we find solace, strength and a deeper understanding of our own spiritual path. May the blessings of Mother Mariamun, Lord Shiva and the revered deities guide and protect you. May their grace fill your life with hope, 
compassion and unyielding positivity. As you walk away, let the sacred whispers and divine energies continue to resonate within, reminding you that in faith there is always light, love and an enduring sense of peace. Nina Garuna, you're